From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. We're broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, my first guest today, Alex Buzari, CEO, Chairman, and Co founder of Data Direct Networks. And uh, just a brief introduction for Alex. He's a visionary IT leader with more than 25 years of experience in founding and managing profitable high growth technology companies. And he's taken this company, DD, or DDN or Data Direct Networks, to one of the, the, the world's leaders in his industry sector. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Michael. Glad to be on the show. Me too. I'm glad you're here. Let's get a better feel for you, your background in this industry sector, and then dive right into what Data Direct Networks does. And I understand you've got had a great fourth quarter last year. Let's let's not leave that out later. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, I I started out in technology. I've been in technology my whole life, and. Uh, at the very beginning, uh, we started in the field of data, so that has been a common theme throughout everything I've been doing, you know, how to harness the power of data at very large scale and how to develop really, really complex technologies to make it easier for people uh, to take data, uh, understand it, analyze it, and use it in order to solve difficult, difficult challenges. So some... 20 years ago, uh, we applied this concept of uh, harnessing the power of data into helping solve really complex problems for government agencies. So think NASA, think weather forecasting, think the ability to really understand where technology can be utilized to save lives for our troops, let's say, in, in conflicts throughout the world, um, as well as solving, for instance, difficult challenges in astrophysics, you know, um, mysteries in the origin of the universe and so on. So it was primarily uh, targeted in the earlier years at government type of uh, endeavors and universities looking at finding ways to uh, either cure diseases or find better polymers in order to create better and faster cars and uh, safer airplanes. Uh, throughout the years, as the Internet started to happen, and all of a sudden we found ourselves just submerged with this tidal wave uh, of data, with everybody figuring out, well, you know, how do we deal with it? Uh, we started developing at DDN, at Data Direct Networks, uh, technologies to help people uh, take all of this data uh, and put it to good use uh, into our home. So, for instance, uh, one of the applications that our systems are being used for uh, is streaming video and streaming movies into the homes of tens of millions or hundreds of millions of users. So, so, so by and large, my whole career, um, you know, for, for more than 20 years, uh, has been focused on uh, developing and implementing innovative technologies uh, to help people uh, address their data challenges at very, very large scale. Now, are you also working in the uh, mobile phone area? Because I had a, a guest on a couple of weeks ago, and that was their focus, a whole new social network of video and, and music mixed together for, for the general consumer to use instead of professionals mixing down um, what used to be years ago, like MTV. Uh, absolutely. So, so what we do, in essence, you know, to, in, in, in a nutshell, um, we develop these large systems. Uh, so think of it as the power of, of your computer times one million. Uh, and these systems are deployed into our customers' data centers. Um, and what they do is they provide at one extreme what, what you were just saying, which is 
uh, you know, we're all running around with our mobile devices and we're trying to figure out, okay, where is the closest pizza place to where we are? Uh, and how do we get from the airport to a given location? Uh, or, oh my God, you know, my wife's uh, birthday is coming up and what is her favorite color and what kind of sweater should I buy for her? So that is at, at one extreme. So, so it is helping uh, those types of things. And then at the other extreme, it is addressing the needs of professionals and addressing the needs of organizations in a variety of fields, you know, such as banking, such as life science, such as oil and gas. So it really runs the gamut in terms of the applications. But yes, it is consumers and mobile devices and, and streaming um, whether it is your favorite songs or your favorite movies on your mobile devices or on your TV at home. And then at the other extreme, it is extremely complex problems that scientists are having a hard time uh, figuring out how to address, and they're using technology to do it. So our systems are deployed in all of these types of environments. Remarkable. Now, you have uh, really got to uh, uh, deserve the accolades that, uh, that, that merit a top performer in an in industry because you, you have some 1,200 customers. I think there's a few more now that you've added for last year, 600 employees in 20 different countries. But uh, if I got this right, you had a record f- uh, fourth quarter in 2014. Talk ab- to us ab- about that. Yeah, ab- absolutely, Michael. And, and, and thank you very much for, for the praise. I think at, at the end of the day, uh, I think what we're all finding out there uh, is that there is more and more data that we have to deal with. And uh, organizations, as well as consumers, are trying to figure out how to better utilize this data, so how to absorb it, uh, how to store it, how to process it, and then how to enable collaboration. Uh, And so as we're finding more and more consumers uh, taking advantage of social media sites, uh, in order to make better decisions and end up with better quality of life. And then organizations, on the other hand, saying, well, how can I provide better services and better goods to my customers? All of this ties into data. So we have seen just this steady acceleration in the number of customers uh, who can benefit from our systems and from our products, which has resulted in uh, in last quarter, you know, the fourth quarter, which ended for us in December, uh, being just a phenomenal quarter with very significant growth. Uh, last year, we added, you know, several hundred customers uh, into uh, users of, of data direct technology, and, and we expect that trend to go on for, for many, many years to come. There will continue to be more and more data out there, and people will want, will need to figure out how to deal with it and how to gain more insight from it. Now, you also achieved significant success at the International Supercomputing uh, 2014 show. Tell us about that. Sure. So, so the, the, the supercomputing show uh, is a trade show where people from all over the world come together uh, and uh, vendors, suppliers, technology companies show their latest and greatest, greatest products and services. And uh, organizations who are continuously trying to figure out ways to deal with data at very large scale and content at very large scale come out to try to figure out, well, you know, what is out there and what they should be doing. Uh, Many of our customers, especially the ones who have very large systems deployed, so again, think large universities, think some of the largest banks in the world, uh, some of the biggest oil and gas producers in the world, uh, are looking out many, many years in advance. And uh, we were fortunate in that we received many accolades at this supercomputer computing show. Uh, We received more than half a dozen awards, some from uh, our peers in the industry, some from users who recognized us as being, you know, one of the leading companies in helping them solve and helping manage these vast amounts of data. So we were very gratified to see uh, that not just our customers, but also our industry peers recognized us as as being uh, a leader in this particular field.
Now, we have about a minute left in this segment. We're going to talk more uh, on the next segment. But before we go, contact information for you so that the people that can utilize your services and get a peek into the future can, can have access to you. Absolutely. So, so the best way to uh, reach out to us and find out what we do is uh, our website, which is www.ddn.com. So that's D as in dog, D as in dog, N as in Nancy.com. And on that website, there will be lots of information about what our customers are doing with our products, who can benefit from our products and services, and con- contacting our organization. All right. That's great. Now let's come back on the other side. I want to hear more about uh, customer momentum and, and this infinite memory engine that you're talking about. Hi, I'm Rodney Anderson, inviting you to tune into my daily radio show from 11 a.m. to noon on Talk Radio 1190 a.m. Listen in for sound financial advice, and I'll answer all your money questions and more Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. on Talk Radio 1190. This is Dr. James, CEO and founder of Diamond Physicians, a direct medicine practice that combines exemplary customer service, state-of-the-art medical technology, compassionate physicians, and 24-hour medical access to revitalize healthcare delivery in America. Diamond is searching for investors to join the solution for rising healthcare costs. We have reached a paradigm shift in the healthcare market. Now is the time to invest in Diamond, a brand that has gained national attention by delivering affordable concierge medicine. Visit diamondphysicians.com backslash franchise to learn more about franchise opportunities. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war among the major term life companies and rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, for a man age 45 non-tobacco user, it's $1 million of coverage and $75 per month level rate for the next 10 years. Or a man age 50 non-tobacco user can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of only $110 per month guaranteed not to change for the next 20 years. That's right, level rate guaranteed not to change for the next 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call today for a quote at 1-800-862-8376. That's 1-800-862-8376. You're probably paying more than you should. Call Term Busters at 1-800-862-8376 or visit our website at termbusters.net. Remember 1-800-862-8376. Rates and availability may vary by state. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-tobacco underwriting. Exam required to qualify. I'm Lex Friedman. I run my own business, so I know from experience, hiring new employees can be tough. Posting your job in one place isn't enough to find quality candidates. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all the top job sites. And now you can with ZipRecruiter.com. You can post your job to 50 plus job sites, including social networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. And with ZipRecruiter's premium traffic boost, you can get up to three times more candidates. Quickly screen applicants, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses. Right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. Plus, get 30% off your first traffic boost by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash info. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash info. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate, and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. That's 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com and tell them Yorva sent you. Are you tired of exposing your retirement to stock market risk? Call 866-555-SAFE for your free safe money book and join Brady Spears and Chris Novinger for the Retirement Experts Radio Show every Saturday at 9 a.m. here on 1190 a.m. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us, broadcasting to you live from 
The Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeartMedia Studios worldwide through yorbamedia.com. I'm joined with Alex Bazurian, CEO, Chairman, and Co-Founder, Data Direct Networks, DDN. Alex, thanks for coming back on the second segment. Appreciate it. Thank you, Michael. All right. When we left off, we're uh, about to get into customer momentum, uh, infinite memory engine, and some of the products that you have here. Bring those out for us because it's a new sure, brand for absolutely. me. Absolutely. So, so the technologies that we develop and the products we bring to market, uh, in essence, are aimed at helping our customers, which are some of the largest organizations in the world, uh, better capture, store, and process very large amounts of data uh, in order for them to make better and faster decisions. So, you know, I'll give you an example. For instance, you know, in Dallas and so oil and gas, we have uh, 50% of the largest oil and gas sites in the world are using DDN technology uh, in order to help them figure out, you know, where should they drill next for oil or for gas, uh, how to better manage natural resources, how to address clean energy challenges. And so in order to do that, these organizations, whether it is in oil and gas, um, in, you know, car manufacturing, in investment banking, have developed very complex software technologies applications, and they need these applications to run extremely efficiently. Uh, so this infinite memory engine, which you mentioned, um, is a brand new technology we have developed that helps these applications run faster. And, and the benefit to these organizations means running a far more streamlined data center and getting much, much faster access to information and insight into what they should be doing and how they should be doing it. And we're very, very excited about this technology, uh, which a number of our customers are already starting to, to deploy and, and getting significant benefits from. Where do you see your industry sector going? Because they're, they're, it's so far advanced from what the, what the normal guy knows about. He just knows it works. But you, you're the ones that are actually connecting the dots, building the circuits, and making, making things you know, move faster. Where, where do you see the industry going? Yes, Michael. So, so the industry is moving at a very rapid pace. You know, as, as you mentioned, uh, you know, last year we experienced significant growth. Our fourth quarter was absolutely phenomenal. This year we're seeing pent-up demand for our technology that, you know, far exceeds what we were seeing last year. Uh, we're seeing this continued trend for organizations, uh, not just large organizations who are looking at solving uh, internal challenges on their own, but also organizations who are looking at delivering, you know, better products, better services to consumers, you know, better games for uh, our kids, you know, better quality movies in, in a variety of devices, either in our homes or or on our mobile devices. I mean, these are all trends which will continue. Uh, so we believe that the future of our industry and the future of our segment is very, very bright. I think this will continue for many decades to come. And so the challenge really is how to best understand um, how to harness uh, these new technologies that are being developed and for us to have our scientists and our engineers continue to develop leading edge products that help our customers solve these problems. Uh, you know, on, on one end, it's very challenging. On the other end, it is just extremely gratifying uh, because you never get bored. It, it's constantly new and exciting things that we're developing and bringing into the market. What are some of the hurdles that you see uh, your industry sector having to overcome in the near future? Sure. So I think the biggest hurdle um, is in the deployment of these technologies and tying them together in efficient ways uh, so that our customers can really benefit from them. So, for instance, uh, today 40% of the leading investment banks in the world are using our, our systems and our technology. They're doing so to better predict stock market behavior and deliver better returns to their customers. Now, this is an industry which traditionally has been very, very conservative. And now they're finding themselves with these new tools, uh, such as the ones DDN is developing, that can deliver significantly better returns to their investors. And so the education process moving from one way, which was uh, non-technology-based, to a different way, which is technology-based, and how to 
adapt to that are the types of challenges that we're faced with. So it's an education process on how organizations in a variety of fields can benefit from technology in order to do better things, more efficient things, and be more competitive. Are you having people come to you with, with projects like artificial intelligence? Oh, ab- absolutely. So we have uh, hundreds of universities and research facilities throughout the world who are looking at solving these types of problems. Um, for instance, you know, more than a third of the top genomic centers in the world are using DDN technology, and they're doing so in order to find ways to extend our lives, find cures for diseases, and all of that ties into artificial intelligence. Uh, I mean, we have customers who are trying to develop um, artificial intelligence-based systems that are not dissimilar from what we see in movies. So, so I think, you know, the, the days of uh, a very complex artificial intelligence system being deployed in order to help us figure things out better are not that far away. Uh, a little bit scary, but at the same time, you know, that's what technology and science is all about. You've got to continuously push the envelope uh, and help make our lives better uh, extend our lives and uh, just improve quality of life. It seems to me, being your, your top in your field, so some of the, the more complex uh, issues of, of, of industry and, and government come to you, you would have uh, real good insight as to where technology really is going because they've got to use your backbone to uh, to make uh, leaps forward. It might Getting that right? And, and, and that's absolutely correct, Michael. Um, in, in many instances, because these systems are so large, again, think, you know, millions of times the power of your computer at home, uh, we tend to start to work on new technologies far ahead of their deployment into our customers' facilities. So right now, for instance, we are working on technologies which will be deployed in the 2022 time frame, so think seven years from now. Uh, and so it's this continuous process of engaging with customers on the one hand um, and with providers of different types of technology on the other hand to develop these very advanced systems, which will see the light of day many years in the future. Uh, so this brainstorming process that our engineers and scientists throughout the world are engaged in uh, is one of the most gratifying aspects of, of my job, which is, on the one hand, understanding customer requirements and what type of challenges we're looking at solving, and then on the other, on the other hand, it's how do we develop the technologies to do so and, and trying to peer into a crystal ball uh, because the products will be deployed five, six, seven, in some instances, ten years into the future. So we, we, I think your first customer was NASA. You said right? Absolutely, yes. So are you still involved with this? You know, with the space program, the move going to Mars and the other planets? Yes, yes. I mean, NASA continues to be uh, a very good customer uh, of DDN, and uh, and the work that we help them do uh, ties into again being able to map the surface of the planet from satellites and do so at very high resolution. Um, on the one hand, and on the other hand, it's, you know, the space program and space program related uh, areas where we're actively involved in, uh, not just with NASA, but also with other government agencies in the U.S. and abroad. Wow. So you've got predictive ter- technology for across the spectrum from the medical to the science industries. Yes, it's medical, it's finance, uh, it's you know large government facilities, car manufacturers, plane manufacturers. It, it runs the gamut, and, and, and it's you know all the way through uh, giving uh, you know the people you do your online shopping with the ability to better predict what you will need next so that when you turn on your, your computer, you will have all these offers that come to you saying, hey, Michael, you know, you should be looking at, you know, this particular tool for your garden or, you know, that particular outfit for your kids. So all of that ties into technologies that DDN develops uh, to provide better predictions uh, in a, a wide variety of environments.
Wow, that's almost it's almost scary when you actually think the next stage out because you have complete predictive technology on human behavior, sociological patterns, things of that nature. Absolutely. But but at the same time, it is making our lives easier. I mean, yeah. I know that when I turn my computer on and I see these ads popping at me, some of them can be annoying, but many of them make my life a lot easier. And, and, and I think it's, you know, technology from DDN and for other uh, types of organizations who are involved in this field that help make our lives easier. So, yes, some of it can be annoying, but I think all around it's goodness. Okay. Great work, and, and, and congratulations on that 16% year-over-year growth that you picked up last year. Thank you very much, Michael. All right. My pleasure. Alex Bazurian, yeah, Bazuri, excuse me, CEO, Chairman, and Co-Founder of Data Direct Networks. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with Lean Kiwas. She's got breakthrough technology in Alzheimer's. We'll be right back. 